كان لبور سمو بارك سلطان الأولياء من شيخ الشيخ شرف الدين داغستاني قلت صلى الله عليه وسلم Allah Azza dress us and bless us from this holy weekend and bless our families and communities inshaAllah by means of this ishq and this love to reach to the heart and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and difficulties to be taken inshaAllah. That alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salam ashraf al mursaleen fa a'uzu billahi min ash-shaitani wa bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Atiullah atiya Rasul ulul amri minkum and I was a reminder for myself and I'm Qulaji so Daifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal and but for the grace of Allah that was still in existence. Alhamdulillah that mashallah with all the <coughs> participation and everybody putting out the AIs and graphic AI and graphic responses. So mashallah is a great, great, uh, great work from everybody that putting out the AI teachings, putting out the, the graphics, putting out animes and short videos and yeah, alhamdulillah our life is a, a khidmat and nothing more beautiful than the khidmat in the way of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and to spread this ishq al-Muhammadiyoon, the love of Prophet and asking people to come, come back to becoming Muhammadiyoon exchange their light for the beloved light of Sayyidina Muhammad and to make ourselves to be nothing and of no importance and to bring back the importance of Sayyidina Muhammad within our hearts, within our soul, within our wujud, within our families and our communities to be the nucleus of our existence and the purpose of our reality that Allah make us to be in existence for the sake of reflecting that reality at every given time and point. That if they don't see Prophet at least they see the signs of Sayyidina Muhammad through ourselves, through our character and through our being ambassadors of this love and this way of love that so greatly agitates people whom their hearts are not filled with love and they can't understand this love and you see them in the comments that, what's this, they have aggression, they have anger and they have issues and whether the anger overwhelms them in this life. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs. Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. In their deen and in their dunya. So few people are angry just in their deen and religion, they're generally angry in everything because they're of a fiery nature and that fire will consume somebody to the core of their being, will consume their mind and make them to be angry in the physical world and no doubt will consume the heart and make them to be angry for all their spiritual world. So this light that we ask people to spread and this love and this khidmat and service that we ask people to spread you see that it illuminates. So we see a, a, a sample of that laboratory on social media when you see the overwhelming amounts of illumination coming out with the animes and the, in the message of peace, the message of love, the example of the holy sunnah and seeing the, the sunnah of Prophet in all of these beatific images and, and animations. It illuminates and this is one form of 
social media and imagine all the other forms that people are participating in and we recommend that they go now in all the different languages, go to the AI and, and pose a, a question on spirituality and if the answer is correct read through it. If it's not correct then put the thumb down so that the, the people can review. And if it's correct take it, copy, paste it onto a post with the nice images of the AI uh, graphics that people are putting out. And alhamdulillah and that spreading of this love is so immense. Means that try not to be one whom trying to make knowledges where you don't have to be the shaykh, you don't have to have a mission of your own. That becomes the, the point in which the nafs is entering. But when you find the shaykh you make yourself to be nothing and this becomes the hardest thing because you can see people try for a week, two weeks, few months and then again the system of their nafs wants to come out to be recognized and to begin to propagate and the greatest propagation is to take from your shaykh's teachings and spread them. That way it's not your responsibility, it's not your nafs that will benefit from it, it's not your pride that will enter into it but just take the teachings of the shaykh and propagate. And in mashallah such a beatific way people are now putting nice graphics to it, putting out the information to it and building an enormous amount of traffic to the websites. So that all the people who want now in their languages they can type in Chinese a question. They don't have, we don't have to know Chinese and the AI will respond to them in Chinese. In Urdu, Arabic, Czech, Russian, so whatever language is out there it's now a, a repository and, and, a, and a resource for tariqah. So that's a immense, immense <coughs> we shared the hadith and the immensities of sharing knowledges. And the sharing of the knowledge that's most beneficial in the last days which is the love of Prophet is the key of our salvation. That when we know that the dajjal is present upon this earth and that all he wants to do is take away that key. So then the preservation of that key, the da'wah of that key is most powerful. No doubt that people will feel the illumination in their hearts and in their lives and in their homes because you gain the ridha and satisfaction of Allah the, the ridha, the nazar and the satisfaction of Prophet by spreading the truth in the face of every deception and every lie that's available. And everybody on whatever social platforms they're on and wherever they're, they're posting or emailing and even in your email signature you can put a link that uh, visit my, my AI and click on this link. So I mean there's so many ways of us trying to spread that news everywhere and alhamdulillah that makes our life to be so peaceful and so blessed. We pray that Allah inspire more and more people to take on that responsibility to spread the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and to propagate this message of love so that those whom are burning within their hearts with anger, bad character, inshaAllah they come through and, and recognize it's so much nicer to approach the Divine Presence with love. And you see how ridiculous the characters are. We post a beautiful pic, beautiful <laughs> video on cats and all these angry people all they just want to know is where's the dalil? Where's the proof that Allah's creation is blessed? But you know we're not going to school you in one video and, and give you a whole education in the comment section. But anytime people come across something they don't know why don't you investigate? and come to the teachings and say, oh look the shaykh teaches an ant from Qur'an had power, that the hoopy bird had power, that all these creatures have power, have gifts and Allah has given all His creation a gift. So how could people doubt that a cat would have a gift when Prophet loved them dearly, even forbid the sale of cats. 
you can give them as a gift but you're not allowed to sell them. So means they have an immense barakah and blessing. So this, these are creatures of Allah and each creature has a secret. When you don't know something it's a means in which uh, maybe I should start to read and listen to them and see what the shaykh is teaching and talking about versus you just see the bad character that you know, prove it, prove it, whoa what are these people talking about and getting angry over a cat and the reality of a cat. <laughs> so it just shows you how, how far apart the world that we live in is, the tariqah world and this SMC world specifically because even within the tariqah they're not being taught. So maybe some of those people are, are now becoming more like Wahhabis that, where's this, who's this, what's this, we never heard this. So anyone who not continuously exposed to uh, this way of muhabbat becomes hard. And I saw a video of a man who had trained his dog and he had beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten the dog to the point when people found the dog and just tried to approach it, all it could do was snarl and act like it has to attack. Because all its life all it knew was just hardness and that's conditioning and as a result of that hardness if you try to come and pet that creature all it knows is just to snarl and that every interaction with humans is going to be something painful. So this life of ours is based on conditioning. The purpose is to continuously tell people the message of Prophet is based on love, on good character, on softness and good manners and, and, and a, a gentle approach. No need to mention about kufar and people going to hell and, and, and just riling people up to become angry people because then they become like that dog. You beat them enough, you beat them enough then their just nature becomes to growl at everyone. And this is the incorrect approach especially in the last days because if you growl at the wrong person you're going to end up in trouble with Allah So the, the odds are teach people to be good, teach people to be soft, be people to have the beautific characteristics to please Allah and that's by taking these teachings, not making our own teachings but take the teachings from the AI, from the websites, from the videos, from the short reels that are being put out, the articles they're putting out and this is a life of uh, service. And as we gain that service we gain the, the nazar of Allah is always upon us but the, the happiness and the rida, the nazar of Prophet to be upon us that we're doing our da'wah, we're living a life of spreading knowledge and seeking knowledge, that's the only purpose of our existence. It wasn't to accumulate wealth, it wasn't to do businesses, it wasn't to do anything. Our life was to accumulate knowledge to seek knowledge which is the highest reward and the highest gift for the soul. And every day when we head out our life is for the pursuit of knowledge. Every time I search something on that AI I'm learning. And then what I want for my brothers and sisters and I share it. I said this was a beautific uh, understanding uh, eloquently put together and written. So we spread the knowledge because we wanted to benefit for it but in reality our life then becomes only the existence of knowledge. We exist for the sake of knowledge and that's a fuel that drives our eternal soul. So imagine five minutes towards dunya meant nothing, had no eternal benefit and it wasted five minutes that we could have spent towards our eternity. So even the few minutes that we gather and we search, we read and then we post it's all a dress upon our eternal reality and its blessings and its dressings and all the nazar and, and power and benefit and people still emailing that they have sicknesses and difficulties and harms and all, all the things that they do but they don't know if they still get it yet that why don't you go to the site and type in something, see if the answer is good and share it. Because those same people you don't see them sharing anywhere on social media. So they're hearing it. But you know it's one thing to just to hear the teaching 
but it's another thing to implement the teaching. So their, their nazar is everywhere, everything that happens in our life there are many eyes watching. Maybe they're watching to see if, if we are getting it. That's why it's so important that at the talks and, and all of the, <coughs> the questions afterwards gives us an understanding that, that the information is being absorbed and the people are able to take the information and implement it into their daily life activities. InshaAllah. With every uloom and every knowledge has to be relevant to our daily life. Otherwise for what is the purpose of it? It has to have an empowering effect upon our, our spiritual activity and our day-to-day -day function in our lives. And that's why it's so important to get the interactions of people, to see that people are understanding, they're progressing, they're, they're, they're gaining these knowledges and activating them. Those whom watch the videos is strongly recommended after watching a video, watching the, the video of the day or whatever you're watching, there's a charity button right at the bottom, give to the charity. Doesn't have to be a great deal but it's, it gives the power to the knowledges that were taken. It's a way of saying shukr to Allah that, Lord watch this video or I made a du'a in the morning, I read the awrad. Anything we do put our resources towards it. That seals every action that we're doing. If it's Allah that we believe in, it's the love of Prophet we believe in it. Then as soon as we read the awrad at the bottom, click on the charity button. Give a few dollars of sadaqah so that it seals the action. Somebody sitting for half an hour watching the video or 15-20 minutes watching the videos, it's an appeal for a charity that's connected to the video, you give to the charity. And that seals the knowledge into the heart, into the soul of the person. Our life is not coming to take something to go but our life was to come and to serve and to give my life on this path. So it's, it's very different than Western philosophy, how am I going to take something? Like coming into the orchard and seeing how many of these oranges I can put in my pocket and how quickly I can run away before anyone notices me. But tariqah when you watch Yusuf Emery and all these things mashaAllah put out all even on Netflix how to, to live through tariqah was that, I came to tie my foot to this way and that I'll enter this orchard and I'll never leave. And I'll live a life to serve the shaykh and serve the community. There's nowhere for me to run on what I'm going to do with two oranges in my pocket and run where? So this is not a life of uh, like a bandito, how to take something and run but how to live a life of service. I watch a video, so alhamdulillah this was very touching from my heart, give to the charity button right there, it's right at a button that they can give. You read a du'a you give, at the end of the night take three links and share and then our life is a virtual tariqah, virtual zawiyah in which we are living a life of khidmat and service to Allah to the love of Prophet and then we feel the bond with the shaykh growing stronger and stronger and stronger inshaAllah. We pray that Allah inspire everybody with all the amazing work that they're doing and Allah is the one whom provides the reward and you can see when Allah is pleased you see how, how fast it's spreading. That how many people are, are coming on to the AI, how many people are coming on to the websites, how many people are, are making the graphics now, the animes and all of these different productions. We pray Allah give us uh, more and more himma until the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam and that we can present all of these, these actions to His holy soul, His nazar is upon all of us. Giving this uh, energy for everybody and the zeal 
in which to spread light in the overwhelming face of zulm and darkness inshaAllah. SubhanAllah Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amma Yasifoon Wa Salaam Ala Mursaleen Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa Wa Siri Surat al-Fatiha As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.